A deputy there is on the road to recovery after a suspect ran him over during a traffic stop overnight. And his body camera captured the whole thing. 33-year-old Kalen Hall suffered serious injuries to both of his legs. Here he is. He's said to be in good spirits now after undergoing surgery this afternoon. Let's bring in Fox 13's Ariel Placencia on the story for us. Uh, scary night uh, for him. How did this all start? Well, Mark, this deputy tried to pull over this suspect driver not once, but twice this morning. And as you mentioned, his officer-worn body camera cap captured the entire thing on video, including the moment that he was hit. So I do want to warn our viewers, we're going to play a part of that video for you, but some of you might find it tough to watch. Around midnight Friday, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Deputy Kalen Hall tried to pull a driver over. On Bears Avenue, east of Nebraska Avenue, a black BMW. But as Hall approached the car, that vehicle fled the traffic stop at a high rate of speed. Roughly 15 minutes later, Hall, who was driving an unmarked sheriff's vehicle, spotted the BMW near Bruce B. Downs and Amberley Drive in the New Tampa area. He followed it to an apartment complex. After the vehicle backed into the space, Deputy Hall activated his emergency lights notifying the driver a traffic stop was being conducted again. Body cam video shows Hall getting out of his patrol car and walking around to the front of it when <laughs> the suspect driver slams into Hall, who suffered a broken left leg and serious injuries to his right leg. 658-1024, he ran over me. That driver had no regard for human life at that moment and fled the scene. That suspect vehicle was later found abandoned about a mile away. Thankfully, Hall, who's been with the sheriff's office for 11 years, is expected to be okay. He had surgery Friday to place a rod in one of his injured legs. He fractured his other ankle. We also ask everybody to pray for him. And deputies have been communicating with the owner of that suspect vehicle, which they believe was the driver during all of this. Charges are expected, so we'll keep you posted when they release more information, as well as the driver's name, Mark. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, that cannot go uh, unpunished. Ariel, thanks.